We love a bad boy with daddy issues. Wait, is that just me? First of all, Slytherin cup. Vive has the same one. Cheers, Vive. That's good. Hopefully that can turn today around because guys, do you see my band-aids? Peppa Pig band-aids. It's been a day. I cut my hand on a piece of cardboard and then I cut my hand on a, like the top of the Starbucks like bottle. Anyway, you don't need to know how I hurt my hand, but it's been a day. But now I have coffee in my Slytherin cup, so it's gonna be good. Okay, wow, how rude of me. I should probably introduce myself. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. It's just so lovely to see you today, babe. Is anyone else having a day? Just one of those days? Cause I am. But today we're watching the Lucifer musical episode and I feel that it's going to cheer me up because this episode is called Blood Bloody Celestial Karaoke Jam. And I am just feeling the vibes of that title. So I'm really excited about this. I wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons. Hey patrons. Cheers. Thanks for supporting what I do. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram, why don't you? It's a great time over there. And surprise, I wrote a book. Well, I wrote a novella, a romance novella. Some of you who follow me over on TikTok and Instagram, I, your voice teacher, might know that I am an aspiring author. I'm currently writing a romance novel. That's my favorite genre. I wrote a little romance novella. It's set around Halloween. I am very excited about it. I released it on Halloween and I would love for you to read it. Check out the link in my bio if you want to read my smutty Halloween romance novella. 18 and older, please. It's just for the grownups, okay? Okay. Before we get into Lucifer, I'm gonna pass the mic and the coffee to Hannah on a different day to talk about today's sponsor. Take it away, Hannah. Thanks, Hannah. Today's video is sponsored by Flowkey. Flowkey, an app that teaches you how to play piano. You guys might not know this, but teaching piano was actually my very first job. I started teaching piano lessons when I was 16. I taught for 10 years until I couldn't possibly teach Donkey's Love to Munch on Carrots one more time. <laughs> so you could say I'm a bit of a pedagogical expert. I didn't even know how to pronounce that word. Here's what I love about Floki. There are lessons for pianists of all levels, so it's perfect for everyone. Whether you're a brand spanking new beginner or a pro, there are songs and lessons for you. And you get real-time feedback on your playing. And get this, Floki has wait mode where the app listens and waits for you to hit the right note so you can go at your own pace. That's so freaking cool. There are step-by-step -step courses on chords, notes, and proper technique. Features like loop, where you can repeat a section of a song to perfect it. Slow mode, where you can reduce the speed to 75 or 50%. And hand selection, where you can work on each hand separately. Make it possible to learn songs in minutes not weeks. You'll learn faster with Flowkey, so you can spend more time playing the songs that you love. And speaking of songs, there are over 1,500 songs of all genres to choose from, all arranged by professional pianists. Neat! Flowkey works with any piano or keyboard and is available on iOS, Android, and in your web browser. Click on my link below to get a free week of Flowkey Premium. Thanks, girl. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Let's do this. Lucifer, Lucifer. I'm gonna go on a really quick tangent to say, for those of you who have watched The Office, the quote that I say the most is from Kelly, and it's when she goes, fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. Why do I say that that much? I don't know. But what I just said, Lucifer, that made me think of that. Anyway, can anyone relate? Okay, let's watch Lucifer. I swear to God that my ADHD is getting worse. Or, you guys are just seeing the real me. I don't know, I don't know what it is, to be honest. Honestly, it could be both. Also, there's the fact that I was in the middle of that sentence and I decided to fix my lighting. <sighs> Let's do this thing. Am I ready now? Yeah. Is he wearing red satin pajamas and sleeping in red satin sheets? A bougie bitch. I resonate with that. The world was on fire. We are singing. I freaking love it. We're one minute in and he's already singing. How appropriate that today's sponsor is Floki because look at that. He's playing piano. Maybe he learned on Floki. He should have. I actually don't know anything about this. He's not a vampire, is he? Is he Satan? Is his name Lucifer? Probably it is. Is he Satan? There was no recap for me to watch, so I am super going into this blind. I never dream that I meet somebody like you okay i really like that he's got a good voice the range in this song is really big to make me dream of you. sorry i was laughing at that picture that is just so clearly a picture drawn by an adult to look like a little kid drew it also it's a man in a suit with horns satan yet again i am asking is this satan how many times have i asked that vive 
The people want to know. I definitely asked it in Julie and the Phantoms. Is this Satan? And where else did I do that? What other musical episode was I watching? I remember bringing it up again. Vive, do you know? The people want to know. As in me. I want to know. I need to know. Is that Satan? <laughs> a little squeezy i'm seeing that tension in those like veins pop out even though he's lip syncing so it just makes me just a little bit concerned about his vocal health he went from like a strong belt with like a lot of chest voice and flipped into a falsetto with more air and it was really nice i like that that's good i like that I'm not a big fan of this like fade transition. It feels like those old like glamour shots that you would get in like the 80s and early 90s where you'd be like smiling and then on the side, like a different picture of you would be like, mm. this is very weird. He sounds super good. I am very impressed. Can't say it's good to see you, dad. Why? So you and Michael can reap more havoc. He's reminding me of high school theater kids when they learn what cheating out is. Where you're like talking to someone over here, but you're completely facing the audience. Like he is not turning around. I mean, like clearly he's not happy to see his, you know, dear old dad, but he's not turning around at all. <laughs> Also, I'm not going to complain about like seeing this hot man shirtless, but why even wear a pajama shirt if you're just going to have it open? Just wondering. As for father-son hang time, how about when hell freezes over? That do for you? We love a bad boy with daddy issues. Wait, is that just me? Stay away from me! The elevator doors shutting slowly does not have as much of a punch as like slamming the door. And I think that's what they trying to go for but that just meant that he just stood there and was like <laughs> let's find out who everybody is okay that's lucifer as i guessed correctly also this this actor god he looks good in glasses sorry let's let's just take a second to look at him in these glasses anyway moving on i didn't think you were coming but i'm glad you did well, i just assumed that you were that we were uh, having a disagreement? Sure. Yeah, I mean, all couples have problems. The acting in this moment is really leaving something to be desired. A disagreement? Sure. Well, all couples have disagreements. I'm sorry. That's just, that's rough. Yeah. I can't believe that they're just like high schoolers and sure. so, the marching the band just watching this. Like the guy is lying in the middle of the football field and there are just literally cheerleaders, football players, the marching band just like, ugh. When can we get back to this game? There is a dead man on the freaking football field. Miss Lopez, are you all right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's one of these where someone is self-aware. Only Lucifer is. Deep walks warily down the street with a brim pulled way down low. <laughs> and no sound of sound of feet. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge? Okay, I mean, this is obviously a jam. Yeah! I'm sorry. Wow, there is so much to unpack here. That top note was horrendous. I'm sorry, Lucifer. This girl right here, the photographer, she is singing so low in her voice all the way down here. That is so low in her voice. It doesn't sound bad, but it does not sound comfortable for her. I mean, this is kind of fun. But this note right here, not great. Mostly it's just a weird choice for him to sing that one note. One They're singing the around a dead guy, another one bites the dust. <laughs> I think that's just like sinking in for me. Is that him singing? He's great. The dead guy that just started dancing. Another one bites the dust. This is just unbelievable. What just happened? Oh, it's like you. only in his what head? Daddy, what are you doing? We've already talked about you coming to my job. This is so embarrassing. I told you to drop me off down the street. Just wanted to see exactly what it is you do for work. He's just the state farm guy. That's a terrible thing to say about this actor because I know that he's like done so many things. I can't hear his voice and not think of the state farm commercials, so. And you could say more. State farm could brand recognition. I got a package, hold on. <laughs> More Amazon packages. Well, the singing and dancing was a bit of a giveaway. Ah, uh, but fun, right? It is not what people do at a crime scene. Understood. 
From now on, you won't even know I'm here. It's so embarrassing, Dad. Why is this his superpower? I am baffled. Lucifer, who is that? It's my, my dad. dad. As in God? You know, oh my God, he's yes, so embarrassing. Wait, I'm sorry. Did she say as in God? As in God? Okay, okay, I know. I get lost a lot and I can be dumb sometimes. I'm not that dumb. Like, I know that this is Satan. I guess I just didn't make the connection that his dad was God. <laughs> also, she knows that he's Satan. I guess this is season five. Is Lucifer a detective? The plot of Lucifer. Okay, so Lucifer doesn't want to punish people in hell anymore. He wants to punish people through law and order, through the American justice system. Got it. But he had a nightclub? Oof, that's cool. This is honestly way cooler than this. Hi. <laughs> God, I, I'm Chloe. I, I'm a big fan. Respectfully, sir, you are a terrible father. Wow, she's got some balls. Kid acts up and you kick them out of the house and go radio silent for thousands of years? I, that's just me. I'm not religious, but I'm pretty sure that like Lucifer was like more than just like a rebellious teenager, right? I mean, I, I don't know, maybe not. Where's Jesus? Have we met Jesus in this show yet? Come on, Jesus. I'm looking for Jesus, Jesus's name. Jesus? Jesus? Is it me, Jesus? Have we not met Jesus? If you're gonna bring God into it, you gotta bring Jesus into it. Let me know in the comments below. Now you see what I've been dealing with. Lucifer's kind of a goober. He's not as like evil and mysterious as I thought he would be. He's gone soft. Sorry to say that our son is just a, just a normal human baby. Yay. Wow. You think angels are better than humans. Did I mention that we can fly? He makes good points. I would rather be an angel. Speaking of angels, that's the title of my novella. He called me Angel. It's on Amazon. The world would be a better place if you would just drop dead. Subtle. Oof. It's not looking good, man. He doesn't know what he wants. He's 17. That's why I'm here, helping him, guiding him, watching him. Ooh. I love the frequency of songs in this. Every movie make. <laughs> This song is pretty creepy. Perfect for an overbearing mother. Never thought of it that way. <laughs> That's so dramatic. I love it. Why are they singing this to each other? I like the harmonies. I'll be watching you. She's singing really low. I'll be watching you for her voice. She's definitely a soprano. Well, I actually don't necessarily think those are like really low, but she's imposing her larynx. So they are, they are probably uncomfortable in her voice. I didn't realize that this was like a jukebox musical. Uh, that means like, a variety of pop songs. I kind of don't hate it so far. It's kind of fun, especially if like Lucifer's the only one experiencing this, but they're singing in harmony, which I like, but it is kind of confusing because like they just started singing it to each other. What is it you truly desire? I want to be a pastry chef. I thought he was going to have a moment where he was like, I want to do theater, like pull a high school musical, you know, but okay, a pastry chef, cool. Poor JJ is permanently screwed destined to be a broken man because of his overbearing judgmental mother he will never be able to live like a normal person love like a normal person well that's not true we can heal our you know our trauma and work on our attachment styles okay we are not controlled by our overbearing mothers maybe he could keep his parent close so that they could work through their issues therapy good idea so i'd give you the tour but i know you've been spying i mean kindly watching over me for millennia. He reminds me of Klaus from Vampire Diaries. I was trying to figure it out. He reminds me of Klaus. Although I thought Klaus was more sinister than Lucifer. He's supposed to be, you know, the freaking angel of death or something, whatever. He was like ruled over hell. He's supposed to be scary and he's just not scary to me. For you sake, don't use my loofah. That's gross, I got you your own. He bought his dad a loofah and prepared clean towels for him. Come on, <laughs> he's just not scary. I wanna be scared, I want him to be a bad boy, but he isn't, so boring. I think it's time that you and I 
worked on our relationship. If you have, <laughs> stopping a lot. If you have a toxic relationship with a parent, sometimes you don't have to heal that relationship with them. You could go no contact with that person. Now this is God and like he seems to not take no for an answer, doesn't understand boundaries. So maybe this is a good, this is a good option, but there does come a point where you might need to go no contact with your parent and you can still learn how to love, okay? Chickadees, I'm gonna look directly in the camera, I'm looking at you. You can still learn how to love. You're not controlled by your overbearing parents, okay? Rant over. Doesn't God have more important things to do? Maybe if you work hard enough, you might one day rise to this man's level. Or you can- He's awful. It's God. Oh. How many people know that he's Satan? I know who you are, actually. Hmm. I believe you met my wife. I'm sorry, what? Did God just say, I believe you've met my wife? Okay, God has a wife. And this detective has been something romantic going on there? What? Okay, hold on. Lucifer, God's wife. Um, Who is God's wife in Lucifer? Goddess. She's just goddess. Okay, that makes sense. Goddess. But she inhabited the body of Charlotte Richards. Okay, I'm following this. Lunchtime. What? No. How dare you? I, I don't want to. How dare you? She said that so softly. Like, do you mean it? Say it with your chest, girl. Now on the day I was born, the nurses all gathered round. Ooh, this song is ass heavy. Photographer, detective, like she can now see that they're singing, not just Lucifer. It kind of seems like she can. Oh my god. She's singing Scrubs. This is one of my favorite songs of all time. I really admire her chutzpah. She is doing the most in this song. Look at her. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cringy, that one. He drives an old school yellow truck. Dad, what are you doing? You're embarrassing me. I didn't say that there was any- He literally just <laughs> He just recreated what I was saying earlier. Dad, you're embarrassing me. We talked about this. I can't come to my work anymore. This is so freaking hilarious. Also, look at that face. That face right there, he's not intimidating at all. See, this is how it's always been with him. A subtle raised eyebrow, then straight to raining frogs. Here, taste this. Yeah. Tell him it's delicious. Uh, not sure I should. Go ahead, child. Go ahead, child. It's a little condescending. I just don't think that I should get in the middle of this. Yeah. Lucifer, come on. We're just gonna fix my hair real quick. Hold on, guys. No, I don't want your number, no. I don't want to give you my hand, no. No, 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 no. Don't want none of your time. A few years ago, at a vocal teacher's conference, I sang that with my two roommates, including Chelsea Wilson. Do you guys know Chelsea? On TikTok, sing with Chelsea. She's fantastic. I love her to bits. But we sang it, and it was super fun. And I have a very, very awkward video of it, which I will post when I get to 500,000 subscribers. It's so lucky that you are watching and you're part of the 66% of my viewers that are not subscribed to me. How lucky for you that you could just hit the subscribe button just right there, easy, done. He comes down here judging every little thing, which is ironic because he made every little thing, made all <laughs> of us imperfect and then criticizes us for not measuring up. So Photoshop your selfies, prepare ye the way for Mr. Judgy Pants. Mr. Judgy Pants. I'm not angry about anything. <laughs> So what? You just banished me to hell for shiggles? For shiggles? Whatever I do, he assumes the worst possible intention. This is super boring. A certain baritone singing the loudest. It's baritone tenor split, and I can't <laughs> help myself with it. Okay. Okay, that was funny. Baritone tenor split. He's like, do not misidentify my vocal type, okay, Dad? You know what a good father does? He loves his son. She's unconditionally. projecting. Not a great thing for a therapist to do. You smell what I'm cooking? You smell what I'm cooking? That is now on my list of my favorite phrases. The other day I was live on Instagram and I was talking to my followers about our favorite phrases. And my number one is that showbiz baby. And I have never been able to use it in a video that the opportunity has not come up yet. So you guys will know that's my number one favorite phrase. But you smell what I'm cooking? That's on the list right there. I am gonna remember that forever. I believe I smell what you're cooking. Get ready to be supported, son. What a lovely, sweaty room you brought me to, Lucifer. God is a base, for sure. It's actually pretty rare to find like a true base, but you can hear it in his speaking voice. His voice is so low and so resonant. You can hear 
<clears throat> wow, why did I try to talk that low as a soprano? Why did I try to do that? You can just hear how like resonant that is and vibrating in his chest. It is so low. That's yes, my that's son, it. Lucifer. He's a very important assistant consultant for the police. Right. I'm detective. What it is that you truly desire. I want to be tackled by a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. The CIF. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Dear Lord. He was being skeevy and then he just <laughs> just smacked his crotch. Excuse me, sir. Those are his privates. What the heck? What a creep. So awkward. Ooh. Friends to turn me in. So you killed the pious bastard to shut him up. Hashtag deserved it. What did he just say? Hashtag deserved it. Hashtag deserved it? Hashtag deserved it. Hashtag deserved it. Gosh, Lucifer is such a nerd. He's such a nerd. Look at you, all firm and authoritative, solving crimes like a real detective. I don't understand God's motivation in this show. Lucifer told it's me that you found Satan's out nightclub. It must be quite a shock for you. And if my divinity makes you uncomfortable at all, I'd be more than happy to give you some space. Does my divinity make you uncomfortable it's okay i i would be happy to give you some some space for my angelic presence if you need that this show is so weird yeah whatever you're an angel it's fine yeah whatever you're an angel it's fine met your dad you know god is that jesus no nah, that's not jesus is that jesus <laughs> lucifer cast jesus this question is in 2019 is jesus mentioned at all in the tv show lucifer and then the answer is no because if they mentioned jesus they would have to call the show jesus <laughs> How is that actually like a, an answer? I think he suggested that uh, Charlotte was his wife. For a while, my mom, the goddess almighty, was inhabiting Charlotte's body. That's normal. This poor guy. Was the goddess ever inhabiting Charlotte's body while I was inhabiting Charlotte's body? Oh! Do you prefer not to talk about <laughs> this, Dan? I do believe that there was some... Um, Yikes. Overlap. Oof. Slept with God's wife. It's a badass move, though. Okay, I love this. <laughs> oh, man. I laughed so hard. My voice went out for a second. Is this an original song or is this another pop song maybe that I've just never heard? It feels like it would be an original. These dance moves. <laughs> I love that so much. Now people listen attentively. I mean about future calamity. I used to think the idea was obsolete. That was a pretty good double pirouette. Pretty good. Calamity. I used to take the okay, idea it was a single. It was pretty clean though. The old man strapping his feet in the I love this. But all the things you try to hide will be revealed on the other side. He's got a pretty good voice. I'm impressed. This is a really fun number. There's fire. Yikes. This bloody celestial karaoke jam, it has to stop. There's the title. Love it. Just as soon as this is over. Oh, now he's dancing. God is toxic, but he seems like a good time. Make your breakfast. Dead boundaries. Why is he naked, completely naked, lying face down on his couch? Isn't his dad staying with him for a couple days? Also, just like your bed is like right there. I had a nickel for every time I've seen a naked body in this room, on this couch, on that desk, on the banister, on the floor. On the piano. Uh, you. Also, Lucifer. You dirty bastard. I just want what's best for you. What's wrong with that? He's manipulating you, Lucifer. Luce, Lucy, he's manipulating you. When are we going back to work? I am going now, actually, Dad, but I think you should take the day off, you know, rest, chill. He talks like he's making fun of a British accent. Like, I don't really believe him that that's his accent. I know that it is his accent, but somehow I don't believe it. Okay, breathe. Hello, detective. I kind of love his suit. Like, at first I looked at it and I didn't know if I liked it. I think it would look better without the vest, but it's kind of fun, that color brown. Funky. You got some good style, loose. Classic dad. Always judging. Classic dad. We were just walking, baby. I mean, I know it's not as cool as flying. Oh, I thought baby's so cute. Okay, this lady needs to talk to her angelic husband. He's gonna apologize, probably. Also, I don't feel like that's that big of a deal. Like, I wish I had wings and could live forever and was an angel. Humans are still cool. Like, he probably still thinks they're tight. He married one. I 
I see the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. An interesting choice right here, but I do love this song. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just there is no baby in that stroller. <laughs> building castles in the sky. Just the two of Ooh, us. Ooh, I like that. Good job, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the first time the doctor placed you in my arms, I knew I'd meet Okay, okay. I'm confused, but also kind of love it. Love, knowledge, discipline too. I pledge my life to you. Just the two of us. Okay, I'm into it. That is an adorable gay couple right there with their baby. I think this is my favorite one. Did you catch Steve's killer? No, but we do have a new lead. Seems like the killer came from this school and not one of the other two involved with the bad call. Yes, someone with an abundance of school spirit. She killed her husband. It must have been difficult living with someone so judgmental. How did they know that he was that judgmental? Nothing was ever right. The chicken was overcooked. The TV's on motion smoothing. My socks aren't white enough. Okay, so he was judgmental. I had to get out. Divorce is an option. PSA, if you're trying to decide between murder and divorce, divorce is a better option. Just saying. Uh, oh! I don't think so. Thank you. Oh my, that was crazy. People don't change, and I'm afraid dear old dad isn't going to either. Yes. You can't fix thousands of years of pent-up issues overnight. I'm not sure that there are enough nights. I think we may simply be too far gone. Yep, I agree. I know that you'll work through this. You guys can go to therapy. You don't need him to heal his relationship with his dad. The stakes are artificially high in this episode. Smile. This child has made no appearance in this entire episode, and now she's here. She's got a cute little voice, though. <laughs> Look at his wings. Boom. <laughs> Okay, I think the wings are cool in that they are like the proper size for him proportionally, but they look, they're not very great CGI. And also that was just really funny. It was like, <sighs> he's just standing there like, this is me, babe. <laughs> okay, all right. That's the time. Ah! <laughs> Wait, hold on. That was even better. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm sure this is a very dramatic moment because like people are shooting at them, but I've never seen the show. So to me, it's just, it's a lot. That face, man, you good? Find that life is still I hate montages though. Cause they kind of had one at the beginning of the episode when Lucifer sang his first song. Oh, and now you're going back to bed? Okay, thanks for coming out for your solo number. I had a run in with a lady. We had bad chemistry. Ah. Uh, Good one. Definitely believe this is one of those times you're saying one thing and mean another. It's called sarcasm, Dad. Get with it. All the cool kids are doing it. The detective, she she made me vulnerable, but it was it was terrifying, but it was also amazing because for the first time in my long, hopeless life, I Aww. I, I felt something. And then you just turn up and you 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 you, you ruin it. You throw it all away. Why? Sing about it, Dad. I dreamed a dream in times gone by. He is not singing I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis right now. Is this happening? Okay. Shit, Lucy, go ahead. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. He's got a good voice. I like listening to him. But I was young and unafraid. He is doing a lot of imposing his larynx. So his larynx is going down and so it almost sounds like swallowed a little bit. And that's just gonna cause tension. So the squeeze that I saw like in the first number when he was singing, that's not helping that squeeze or that is the cause of that squeeze. But he's doing a good job mixing and he's getting up there. He's in his head voice. He's blending through his passages really well. So good job, Lucifer. Good job, Satan. There was no ransom to be paid. 
That was an interesting choice. Bye. This is a really unique version of I Dreamed a Tree. But the tigers come at night. I, wh- huh? With their voices soft as thunder. As they tear your hope apart. Okay. First of all, told you so. True bass. Second, why the F is he singing it that low? Like that is so low that it is like uncomfortable. Like if I tried to sing that low, oh, you get that like vocal fry. That's what's happening there. It's not very pleasant to listen to. I'm not gonna lie. He could be singing it up an octave and it would still be really low. Don't get it. Love singing six inches away from each other. That's fun. Yes. We've got some cool guitar riffs in the back. Okay. That we will live the years together. But there, there are, are dreams that cannot be. Oh, he did that little yodel again. So different now from what it seems. Oh, you know what that is actually? That's tongue tension, everybody. See? His tongue is doing this and it's getting to the back of his throat, which is imposing his larynx, which is causing his tension. It's actually coming from his tongue. Ha! Now I see it. And so his jaw's thrusting out. Now life has killed three. I dream. Hey, it's okay. I think she'd go to couples therapy with you. It's gonna be okay. So full of light that it blinds even you sometimes. What does that mean? Sorry, I know this is an emotional moment, but what does that mean? (laughs) That I cannot fix you, Lucifer. But you're God. If you can't fix me, Dad, then at least stop trying to control me. How do I control you? You just made me sing again. I mean, it has to stop. I'm not sure I can. My powers, son. I think I'm losing control of them. Uh Uh-oh, what a twist. Okay, well, where are his powers going? I wanna know. I'm I'm probably not gonna watch this show. I'm gonna be real with you guys, but I wanna know what happens. So tell me if I was completely off base. Tell me in the comments, tell me what happens next. Where are God's powers going? Like the creator of all the universe? How does he lose his powers? I would say my favorite was just the two of us. I really liked that one, followed closely by No Scrubs slash Bad to the Bone. Lucifer was kind of insufferable. Oh, don't come for me, guys. Lucifer stands. I just felt like I wanted him to be scarier. Maybe because this is season five, maybe he was scarier at the beginning. Maybe I'm not giving him enough credit. Maybe he's just become more human and that's okay. You know, we are allowed to change. We're allowed to do that. But I mean, it was a good time. I give it a six out of 10. It was a good time. I I enjoyed watching that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher and now you're all my students. Please follow me on TikTok and Instagram at your voice teacher and check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Hannah Bales and the rest of the cool things that are in the description down below. Okay, bye.